Hey guys, and welcome back to another episode of TerraTech. And on the last episode, we were going through a new game uh, with the new patch. Oh, wow, look at this new guy in front of us. He has a lot of weapons. Now, we could go after him, but remember, if you do, you could lose everything you have. See, he just shot our will off uh, in a matter of seconds. So we're going to come back over here uh, and heal up. We don't want to rush it if we don't have to. You can see, and here actually, he was still chasing after us for quite some time. Let's see if we can find our base. It's right over here. And we have some wood on us. So as soon as we get back to our base, it should go ahead and start taking some of this wood off and making resources out of it. Well, that is if we get to the right side of our base. You want to get to these little yellow, uh, whitish, circular, or half circular blocks right there in front of us. And they go ahead and pull them off of you uh, from this little... Uh, machine or really like hover pad type thing that we have that collects resources and it goes ahead and converts it into fuel which then is used by your base to uh, keep the shield going uh, and repair your little uh, block so let's see if we can get the back in here real quick because those are some of the most damaged blocks right there back into it no doesn't seem to want to Stay down. I guess it's all the weapons we got on the front that make it so completely front heavy. There we go. At least it's in there now. Or it was. I'm going to take some of these weapons off the front just so that we can try to even it out. Because that's, that's going to kill us in the end. If it's going to keep flipping over like that, it's going to happen at the worst time possible. Uh, and then that's going to be the end of our vehicle and we don't want that to happen we've put a lot of effort into this guy so far things are going good so let's go ahead and see if we can keep it that way put these on there so that should help out a little bit okay there we go that's helping out a lot so let's go back there and see if we can get some of that base uh, the base that they had over here seemed to have some new blocks that we didn't already uh, maybe with any luck this stuff over here was am I heading the right direction? I think I am. Where it was anyways. No, this is a completely new direction than where we were a second ago. But there's stuff over here. So we're gonna come check it out. Watch out, this area is protected. Oh wow, You're right it was. Kill this guy. There we go. Cool. Got some more blocks. Let's see, where do we want to put them? I think we're going to put them. What is the weapon doing down here? I didn't even remember doing that. Yeah, take that, not the weapon. Let's take this weapon off. Put this thing back where it belongs in there. Uh, in fact, it belonged right here in the center. Uh, somehow I took that out of there. That sucks. Let's go ahead and put this here. What is this thing? Rotating anchor. What does that do? Rotating anchor that can be planted in the ground. Great for sentry guns. Hmm, we could take that back to our base, I guess, and put that on the ground, put a couple guns on it or something, maybe protect it a little bit more that way. Uh, we don't really need uh, another one of those. Could put this back on, that's for sure. Let's see, what do we want to do with these? Uh, I guess we can go ahead and put a few more on the side. Actually, what we're going to do here, move this over, move this over here. And if we put a couple blocks on top of them like this, then we can stack it up even more than what we had and have three rows, uh, as well as... Uh, Gonna go ahead and put some here in the back to even that out so that we can have a second row facing the back and the side. Let's take these off and put them on the side for now just to get them out of the way. There we go. Put these blocks down. We've got quite a few of them to mess with, so we should be able to be good here as long as we don't get attacked. Uh, don't ever really mess with the wheels too much when you're doing this kind of thing, especially big major changes, because you will uh, have a chance to uh, really get uh, wiped when you do that. Let's put this over here. We want to make sure that the back is still 
heavier than uh, than the front. Now we got one more block, so we can put this up here, and that means we can use one more laser in the front. Nice. Go ahead and put this over here, right here in the back, and one more laser. Good, that gives us a pretty decent vehicle. Let's come over here and look at some of the other things that they have for us. Uh, we actually have another cab. Uh, of course, they could throw it. Try making a new tech with some blocks and a new cab. Put this on the side. There we go. And what is this? Let's see. Can we put this on top? Let's go ahead and see what this does. An essential component to be able to assign specific roles for tech and fleet. Uh, so this should give us the ability to actually use uh, this other little dude. So let's put this on and take this little dude off. Ah, now he's an ally. So let's put some uh, some blocks on this guy. We don't actually have any wheels over here, unfortunately. We do now, though. There we go. Let's see what happens if we put this guy down. Put some blocks on him. Put a wheel. How do we flip him? Oh, nice. So now I'm this guy. Cool. That is pretty cool. All I had to do was double click on him to uh, to become this little guy. So now I can have two vehicles. Oh, I'm liking that. Uh, I think that just uh, definitely increased our chance of survival. I'm going to go ahead and put that on the back. What is this? A gun? Let's give him a gun. I don't know what this does. Let's look at it. Standard issue GSO tractor pad for transporting up to three resources to a desired location. So basically the same thing we had before, except it's a smaller version. Uh, let's put this on the back and face it towards the back. And then we're going to go ahead and click on our ally over here, which is us. It's our main vehicle. Uh, let's see, is there any place we can put this on? Uh, no, not really. I don't know if it's going to be able to move like this, but we'll find out here in a second. Definitely probably could use uh, another couple of tires. Which is why I said to make sure you carry a few extra with you, but we just didn't have the space for it, so we didn't put those on. Let's put this over here. Actually take that down one. That's the second one. Okay, so let's head back to base. This is pretty cool. Hopefully that guy can follow us. We'll find out here in a second. Doesn't look like he can, unfortunately. Well, we'll come back for him. Let's go back over here. Need some wood to turn our base back on. and You can see the trees haven't respawned yet. I don't know how long it's going to be before they do. I do know they do grow back, but it, it does take a while sometimes. Oh, wow. No, we don't want that guy on us. Get close enough so we can turn the shield on. And then we're going to go back and destroy that guy. Wait for the, uh, the blocks to be repaired, though. Make sure we have uh, everything we need. In fact, let's put these down. Can put this there and this over here. Let's see if we can put a weapon on it and see if that does anything. Means the back of us will be a little less guarded, but that's alright. We can deal with that. Come on, turn your shield on. Guess I had to go through the other blocks first. There we go. Getting healed up. That didn't last very long. There we go. And not too many of our blocks were damaged in the first place, but they will be after this guy. This guy's going to be pretty tough. 
he ever starts attacking us. Bye. Am I hitting him anymore? So you can see he was trying to go for the back. And he's, he's hitting us pretty hard. He's destroying a lot of our blocks. Hopefully we can get him back when we destroy him. At least we don't destroy him all in the meantime. There we go. Okay, so what do we need? We need another will. And another block down here on the bottom. Those two got destroyed, so... Let's put the big block. Turn it sideways, there we go. Put a wheel back on. Should even us out a little bit. What do we want to do? We want to... Take this... Put it here on the side. That's good, and we want to take this off. What about some of those other little blocks? There we go. Now we want to make a row down here in the front, mainly so that it will protect our main guy, because he's pretty exposed, and I don't like that feeling too much. What is this? Okay, we can put that on the front, put a couple of these weapons. It's going to make us pretty front heavy, though, so be aware of that. What is about these weapons? There we go. Uh, we have any other ones? Yeah, there we go, over here. A couple of them, actually. Those are going to be pretty cool. Those are like artillery ones. They shoot uh, pretty far away. I'm actually going to put the rest of these on the back. Because I don't want to tip over the first time we move. And this, we are going to put... Uh, I guess we can put it right there. And we'll move our guns around here in a second. Uh, let's see. Put that there. This one, we're going to turn to face the right way. I'm going to put this tire here on the side, because we needed a couple extra ones for that other guy, if you guys remember that. Um, let's see. Here we go. Here's another one. Put that on the side. And I think that's... Okay, we got one more tire. Here we go. And these other little tiny wheels, I'm not going to use those. Those are there for stability reasons. Oh, there's an extra gun over here. We'll definitely take that. If it will let us click on it. Make sure to face it the right way. Let's come back over here and drop off our loot. Thankfully, it pulls it from pretty far away, so you don't have to worry about it. Wow, we're healing up almost our entire vehicle right there. You can see that it's damaged, and we're stuck on it a little bit. Let's get a little closer. Definitely don't want to lose this little thing right here that refines our stuff, or actually picks up our stuff, I should say. So let's see, where did we leave that little guy? I think he's over here where the little blue thing is, but I could be mistaken. No, that's where that other... <coughs> Sorry guys, uh, suffering from a mild cold today. He's over here somewhere, unless he got destroyed. Oh, there he is over here, maybe. Is this him? Uh, no, this is, is not him. It's what's left of him, I think, actually. That sucks, he must have got destroyed. Well, that's what happens when you leave him there to fend for himself. We'll take the blocks, use them next time. Uh, take the wheel as well. Might be able to change our thing up a little bit, actually. Let's see, what do we want to do here? Uh, yeah, let's put another block over here on the bottom. Well, not quite like that. Just in case this wheel gets blown out, uh, we have a little bit extra so that we don't tip over right away. Not to mention, uh, we now have a few extra wheels, uh, which we need to move around. And there's a bad guy sitting literally right next to us. So let's take that guy out here in a second. Uh, that should be good. I do want to move this down so it's not in the way of that weapon. Move that weapon up to the front. Here we go. 
Now if we can turn right and not destroy the tree that he's stuck on, we might be able to kill him without him doing anything. Oh, he broke free. <laughs> he saw us. Die, punk. Die. I'm going down. Stop moving. I want your blocks. Oh, stop destroying the blocks. <laughs> you suck. Uh, I don't think he destroyed any of our stuff, thankfully. Uh, yeah, he didn't destroy anything, I don't think. So let's see, what do we want to do? We want to actually take a couple of these, put them here on the side, and then expand forward just a little bit, which would allow us to... Any more blocks left? Yeah, we have a couple more blocks. So let's move this to the front and this up. And make sure we change it the right way. Yeah, what did that do? Where'd it go? Change it that way. And now we can get a few of these blocks and make another row so that the back, like I said before, is not too front heavy or too back heavy. Go ahead and change this. Move this to the back. No, like that. There we go. This is actually one of the best parts of the game, is just completely and totally rearranging your your vehicle every time you get something new. Uh, your vehicle will go through so many changes, it's amazing how you will do something, you're like, oh, this is the perfect design, then you get a few more blocks and you're like, oh, wow, I'm going to try this. And it just, sometimes they completely and totally fail, and other times they are completely and totally amazing, uh, and you just can't believe you ever did without it like that. And then when you lose everything, oh, it's a horrible feeling. You're like, oh, I gotta start all over from scratch. That, that sucks. Trust me on that one. I've done that one more than enough uh, to know how that feels. So we're gonna do it like that. We're also gonna move this over. I'm gonna take that off because that's not doing anything at all. Uh, let's see, what do we got over here? Another weapon? That's still not doing anything there, but at least let's put it over here. Can we put that over here on this side, right here? Make sure to face it the right way. Oh, there's another weapon. Another couple weapons. So we can put this here behind this one because it fires straight out. And save this block for this top piece. What else do we got? Uh, that's about it. I mean, we got a few more tires, but we don't really need those. ahead and go back over to our base. Heal up a little bit. Make sure not to get stuck on these rocks. They're a little hard to get by sometimes. I'm kind of wasting resources because I'm not able to pick up all of this stuff. And I hate doing that, so... What's going on? What am I getting stuck on? I guess I'm getting stuck on the resources themselves. There we go. It's taking the stuff off now. Slowly, you may have to actually change where this uh, this little flotation pad is. I can't even get my vehicle in there anymore. What if I get a little closer? There we go. No. Well, we got a little bit of our vehicle in there healing at least. Ah, oh, come on! It has plenty of fuel. There it goes. Now we're doing the back of it. I guess most of it was still pretty good. Where was that other base? There was another base over here somewhere that I came from. It wasn't that way. Was it over here? I think it was closer to the desert region. Maybe over here. Yeah, here it is over here. At least there's an enemy. I don't see the base anymore, but... Die, punk. Man, tipping over front again. Gonna have to do something about that. Uh, let's see, we can move this up. Yeah, that's what I wanted to do, move the whole block. I hate when it grabs the wrong one for no reason. Put this block back. Grab this other one. That's not what I wanted to do. Put this down. 
I'll throw it. There we go, right there. Because we need the weight back there. It may not look like it's doing anything, but it is giving us weight. Ah, and here comes an enemy. You can see him over there in the distance. So now we can pull these back down. Move these over. Remember to make sure they're facing the same way. Only the default is always forward for some reason. It should maybe uh, in one of these new expansions change that. It'd be nice if they did. So that uh, whatever way uh, you put it down, if you put it down in the back, it should like default face into the back. It would be nice. Uh, I think that's going to be it for that guy right there. I thought there was a base over here. Let's look around real quick. They didn't destroy it, because that would have been nice to have all those pieces. Keep looking around anyways. There's another enemy over here we can kill in the meantime. Let's see what he has. And I am loving the fact that these things aren't spawning all over the place. These guys I used to just wipe the floor with us, and now they're a lot more uh, uncommon. See, we got another one of these. Where do we put this? Put this here in the front. There we go. And we'll go ahead and put this on the side. Don't need any more wheels. Now we can carry quite a few stuff as far as resources go. Still don't really have anything to use them on, unfortunately. Oh, man. Die! Die! <laughs> I want your resources. I want your blocks. Oh, I'm taking out all his weapons. There we go. He only has, what, two, three weapons left? Four weapons. But he can't even move anymore. He doesn't have any wheels. There we go. Boom! Nice. Uh, let's see, what damage did he do to us in the front? Oh, he did quite a bit of damage, actually. Look at all that. So we need to put some of that stuff back on. I'm gonna go ahead and do... I hate when the blocks are all the way over here. Let's go ahead and... Put this up here. Move this block over here to make it a little bit more even. There we go. We're going to have to do something about this front panel again. Make sure. Because you can see they aim right for it every single time. Uh, so if you didn't have that there, you would be dead by now. So make sure you are very, very dil diligent when you're doing this. And you're putting these pieces down. That you make sure that that is always covered. Uh, we're going to need one more piece. Right there. And I do believe the two pieces are a little stronger. And there he comes. I actually think I have more weapons in the back than the front right now. Let's see, what can we do? We need to put more weapons up here. I was staying away from it for a while, putting weapons, because I didn't want to make it too front heavy like it was doing and just tipping over every couple seconds, but definitely need a little bit more firepower in this region. Put that right there. Got a lot of big wheels, though. Let's see. We can put this guy up front. Put this on the side. We still need to fix this over here. So let's go ahead and take these off for now. We'll pick them back up here in a second. We can put this down. Move these forward. Change the direction. As always. And then we can put these down at least. Uh, let's see. We can put these back on. There we go. And now we can pick up these extra weapons. Uh, they are blocking these ones behind them, unfortunately. Uh, but that's okay because eventually we'll get more blocks and then we can raise it up a little bit higher. Uh, we'll put this on the side so we can fire sideways. I think we have all the tires we need for now. But it's hard to pass up this thing. 
which allows us to uh, harvest more stuff. I think that's what we're going to do for now. So let's go grab this block too. Didn't even see that over here. Where do we want to put that? I guess we can put it back here in the back actually. And grab one of those wheels. Since we do have some of the bigger ones here. Uh, <laughs> this is what I was talking about. We are so wide. We are literally stuck on a hill. Let's see if we can get off of it. Ooh. There we go. Let's head back to our base. So we're going to go ahead and stop this video here, guys. If you like these episodes, please hit the like button, subscribe. Definitely leave comments down below. I would love to hear what you guys think of this game so far. If you're looking for a uh, alpha and development game, something that's not quite complete yet, that you can kind of play around with and check out, this is a great game. And they come up with patches for it f literally like every other week. So uh, they definitely are still working on it and still going strong. It's not one of those games where... You know, you pay a little bit of money and then they never release any new content for it. They're constantly changing this game and upgrading it and making it better. Uh, so I would highly recommend it. It's a fun little game. Uh, it's definitely uh, made leaps and bounds improvements since the time I've started in just the last month. Uh, again, guys, if you like these episodes, uh, please hit the like button and subscribe. And I'll definitely catch you on the next episode. Thanks again for watching.